Okay guys, so today I'm going to give you the exact sequence of steps that you need to take to start your web design business from home. So basically, if I had to start again from scratch, this is exactly what I would do. So first, ideally, in order to be productive, you would need your own space at home. So you could use a spare room as your home office or fit a desk in the corner of your living room, for instance. That doesn't matter, really. But what's important here is to have your own dedicated workspace. Because the moment you sit at your desk, you will automatically switch into work mode. And your mindset also will switch from distraction to complete focus. Okay, so next you need to learn how to build websites. So follow any of my tutorials here on YouTube. Just pick one out. So for instance, how to make a car dealership website. And then build the exact same website from scratch. And then the next day, do the same thing again with another one. For instance, how to make a listing website for free and try to build one new website every day and do that for a period of 10, 15 days. And every time you build a new website, even though it's a practice session, imagine that you're doing this for an actual client. The reason why is because this will train you to become critical of your own work and this will help you to make quick progress as well. And by the end of the 15 days period, you will have built 15 different websites and you'll have a good grasp already of how to make a website. And now that you've built a few different types of websites, you are going to plan your business model. And this is a very important step because the web design industry is literally overcrowded. So if you want to stand a chance in this business, you will need to decide which target audience you want to serve. And I personally would advise you to be as specific as possible, like laser focused, because the more targeted your offer, the easier it will be for you to find clients. So how do you find your niche? So this is going to take a bit of research. And don't worry if it takes a few days, but basically you need to answer those questions here. What makes you different and special? And what do you have to offer that no one else does? Because let's face it, if you go on Google Maps and type in web designers near me, you will soon realize that they all offer the same thing roughly. Like we build beautiful websites or professional websites. We build responsive websites. Who doesn't? Or even worse, they compete on price using words like affordable or cheapest websites around. So let me tell you immediately, you're not going to win any clients with that. So that means that your value proposition should be so targeted that you'll become the obvious choice in your niche. So, for instance, you could specialize in food ordering websites for takeaway restaurants or set up appointment booking website for service providers, or specialize in dynamic websites, specifically dynamic content. And by doing so, you will become unique and you will have a specific demographic that you can target. And now in line with that, make sure that your target audience is big enough, obviously. You have a big enough pool. So let's say you want to specialize in appointment booking websites. Well, you're almost certain that there's enough businesses out there to contact like hairdressers, barbershops, accountants, lawyers, plumbers, electricians, etc. So clearly this would be a viable idea. Okay, so the next step is to build your own website. So this one is just common sense because no one is going to hire a web designer that does not have a website. So first you need to find a domain name that's memorable. So back to the idea of specializing in appointment booking website, you could have, for instance, foodiebooked.com. That's a catchy name, isn't it? But it might be taken already. So you might have to try different variations, maybe fully booked each day.com or fully booked each week.com or choose even maybe a local name like in Ireland here we have .ie extensions and as it turns out as you can see here fully booked.ie is available now when designing your website stick to the basics uh, don't try to wow your visitors uh, your own website needs to be clean well structured and professional that's all now normally every web designer uploads what is called a portfolio to showcase the latest websites they've built now since you're only starting up you don't have any clients yet you can't showcase any portfolio so instead of that what can you do well again if you decide to specialize in food ordering websites for restaurants for instance 
All you need to do is to build an actual demo website where people can test all those features. And of course, make sure that it is well polished and run smoothly. And once your demo site is ready on your own website, don't forget to add a big call to action button that says demo site or see it in action. Okay, and the next step is to set your price structure. So have a set price for everything and don't hide those prices please display them proudly on your website i promise you no one likes to fill out a form that says request a quote there's nothing more annoying than that so if i personally go on the web designer's website i want to see prices somewhere and make it really easy straight up in the menu section have a pricing tab and that's it and for the next step, I would highly recommend that you record a presentation video of your services. Show all the benefits, demonstrate how easy the platform is to use, so that way you won't have to repeat yourself and you can let the video do all the talking for you 24-7. And the best part is that you can share it anywhere you want, on your website, your social media platforms, your email signature, etc, etc. And finally, now it's time for you to find clients. But you know what? We'll leave that for another video. For now, if you want to get started as a web designer from home, you can go and watch this tutorial here. That's a good start.